Hi everyone, for today's video we have 20 road traffic signs. Are you ready to find out what they mean? Okay, let's get started. Question 1. What does this sign mean? A. Explosive prohibited. B. No vehicles allowed. C. Do not enter. D. Beware explosive. And let's start the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. And the correct answer is A. Explosives prohibited. Explanation. This sign prohibits vehicles carrying explosives from entering the road ahead as per guidance in the 2024 Highway Code. It aims to improve safety by keeping explosives off certain roofs. Question number two. You see this sign while driving. What should you do? A. Sound your horn and proceed slowly. B. Turn around and take another route. C. Drive over rough terrain carefully. D. Increase vehicle ground clearance. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is C. Drive over rough terrain carefully. This sign indicates a risk that vehicles could become grounded or stuck because of rough or uneven terrain ahead. The highway code advises to proceed slowly and carefully over terrain like this. Question number three. What does this sign mean? A. Ferry terminal ahead. B. Risk of flooding. C. Steep river bank nearby. D. Water channel across road. And the countdown begins now. Five, four, three, two, one. The correct answer is steep river bank nearby. This sign warns drivers that there is a steep river bank or drop beside the road according to the guidance in the highway code. Drivers should take care and reduce speed while passing the hazard. Question number four. When seeing this sign, what should drivers prepare for? A. Sharp curve downhill. B. Deep descent ahead, C. Risk of landslides, D. Speed camera enforcement. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is B. Deep descent ahead. This sign warns drivers that there is a steep downhill slope ahead that will likely require braking control and safe handling at slower speeds. Next question. Question number five. What does this sign mean you should do? A. Switch off electronics. B. Avoid fire hazards. C. Check appliance seals. D. Appliance fault ahead. And the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. The correct answer is B. Avoid fire hazards. This sign indicates a hazard from potential exposure to flammable substances that could ignite from appliances with faulty seals or faulty sparks, etc. Drivers should proceed avoiding fire risks. Question number six. What should be fitted before driving into this area? A. Snow chains on tires. B. Reinforced tires. C. Tow rope or chain. D. Ice scraper. Let's begin the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. And the correct answer is A. 
snow chains on tires. This sign shows that snow chains must be fitted to vehicle tires in order to legally and safely proceed along routes prone to heavy snow and ice without the risk of getting stranded. Question 7. What does this sign indicate for drivers? A. Strong lateral wind gusts, likely. B. Change speed limit ahead. C. Overtaking prohibited. D. Uneven road surface. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is A. Strong lateral wind gusts likely. This warning sign alerts drivers that there are often strong and potentially hazardous side winds along the road ahead, making control of the vehicle more difficult. Next question. Question number eight. What must not be done past this sign? A. Turn around safely. B. Proceed on foot. C. Cycle cautiously. D. Ride motorcycle. Let's start the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. And the correct answer is D. Ride motorcycle. This sign prohibits all motor vehicles, including motorcycles, from proceeding past the sign indicating pedestrians and cyclists only ahead for safety. Next question, number nine. What should drivers prioritize when seeing this ahead? A, honking horns frequently. B, pulling over temporarily. C, reducing speed significantly. D, turning headlights up to full. And the countdown begins now. Five, four, three, two, one. The correct answer is C, reducing speed significantly. This sign warns that unrestrained wild animals are likely to be present ahead, requiring drivers to reduce speed substantially to allow more reaction time. Question number 10. What does this sign indicate? A. Frozen road ahead. B. Snow chains required. C. Slippery conditions likely. D. Frost heave bumps present. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is C. Slippery conditions likely. Explanation. This winter hazard sign warns drivers that icy and slippery conditions, making control and braking difficult, are likely to be present along the road ahead. Let's go to the next question. Question number 11. When seeing this sign, drivers should A. Sound the horn to scare horses. B. Stop and wait for the horses. C. Slow down and proceed carefully, or D, switch on hazard light. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is C, slow down and proceed carefully. This wildlife warning sign indicates that horses unrestrained and at risk of crossing the road are likely ahead and drivers should reduce the speed and proceed vigilantly. Next question. Question number 12. What must be fitted before proceeding past this sign? A. Reinforced suspension. B. Snow tires. C. Snow chains. D. Additional axle. And the countdown starts now. Five, four, three, Two, one. The correct answer is C, snow chains. 
This sign indicates that fitting snow chains to tires is mandatory before legally and safely proceeding along the snow or ice prone route ahead. Question number 13. What sign would also typically accompany this sign? A. Risk of grounding. B. Road narrows. C. Uneven road. D. Slippery road. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is A. Risk of grounding. Signs warning of a nearby unprotected quay or riverbank drop are also often accompanied by a risk of grounding sign indicating hazards from soft terrain. Question 14. What should drivers do when they see this sign? A. Proceed quickly to avoid rocks. B. Sound a horn and increase caution. C. Pull over and check for damage. Or D. Turn around and take another route. Let's start the countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is... B. Sound the horn and increase caution. This sign warns drivers of a hazard from potential falling rocks along the road ahead. The highway code advises proceeding with heightened caution and readiness to avoid fallen rocks in the roadway. Let's proceed to the next question, number 15. What type of level crossing is indicated here? A. Rail station crossing. B. Tramway crossing. C. Swing bridge crossing. Or D. Moving bridge crossing. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is B. Tramway crossing. This sign indicates that a road tramway crossing protected by a barrier or a gate lies ahead. Drivers must obey signals at the crossing before they proceed. Question number 16. What should drivers do when approaching this sign? A. Sound the horn and accelerate. B. Observe speed limit signs. C. Reduce speed and stay alert. Or D, switch on hazard warning lights. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is C, reduce speed and stay alert. This sign warns of the frequent presence of pedestrians likely in the roadway near it. Drivers are officially advised by the highway code to reduce speed substantially and stay vigilant in observation for pedestrians when passing it to improve safety. Next question. Question number 17. What does a flashing green arrow above a lane mean at this type of sign? A. Enter lane when the gap is clear. B. Lane closed, do not enter. C. Arrows show lane destinations. Or D. Apply brakes. Lane merging ahead. Let's start the countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is A. Enter the lane when the gap is clear. According to guidance on lane control light signals in the highway code, a flashing green arrow grants permission to proceed with caution into a lane when safe gaps in oncoming traffic allow in order to merge. Question number 18. What should drivers do when they see this sign? A. Overtake slowing vehicles. B. Approach at higher speed. C. Prepare to stop when lights show. Or D. Proceed without reducing speed. 5. Or 3, 2, 1.
the correct answer is prepare to stop when light show. This sign indicates an upcoming level crossing with a barrier or a gate. The highway code instructs drivers to be prepared to stop when warning lights show at the crossing point. Question number 19. What hazard is indicated by this sign? A. Waterlogged road surface. B. Steep downhill slope. D. Unprotected quay or bank. D. Vehicles grounding on terrain. Let's begin the countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is D. Vehicles grounding on terrain. This sign warns that there is a risk of vehicles becoming grounded or stuck on unclear, uneven, loose or obstructed terrain unable to support them ahead. This sign advises caution. And we got to our last question of today, which is question number 20. Why must drivers not exceed the speed limit when seeing this sign? A. There are children playing nearby. B. There are senior citizens crossing. C. There are history of collisions. Or D. There is a blind turn ahead. Let's begin the countdown, the last time for today. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is C. History of collisions. This black spot sign indicates a specific stretch of road with a recorded history of frequent collisions where drivers must adhere to the speed limit strictly in order to reduce accident risk. Having reached the end of our video, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like subscribe and share and I will see you in the next one. Bye!